I think the vulnerability series that you were doing and and like your do rag talks and and yeah. what you do on Instagram TV, like that that's a really really powerful message to send. I can see and I know you, I can tell from the vibe that you give off from them, like they're passionate and they're they're yeah. so open and that's what we need more of we need more men yeah, being able to just show I that i think vulnerability is our greatest strength as individuals i do it's, it's been something that's been built in a social construct to be bad if you're vulnerable you're easily taken advantage of but i i believe that genius is nothing but persistence in disguise so you know the only people only difference between someone who is successful and someone who isn't is they just didn't quit you know i actually posted something a quote from Nipsey Hussle um, on my page today. And uh, something that he really branded in his career was the marathon, right? He said his, his career was a marathon where it was times where he never thought he would be where he is, but he just never quit. And I think that's what vulnerability is. I think we give up on our vulnerability at a very young age, maybe because we get embarrassed, you know, by being open, or maybe we just don't, we're just inadequate in some situations. And, you know, we're, we're, we're we're put in a society a lot of times where if you do something one time and you're not quote unquote good at it, you know, you're put on this pedestal and like, Hey man, you look stupid. You know, you should quit this out of third. You're not good at it. And every, I don't care if you're LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, you know, they built their crafts. Of course, some people are born with, you know, genetic genes that make them, you know, very athletic, but make no mistake about it. No one's just running out there and just being pros on day one. And I think that that's where the mind element really comes into play is just understanding that persistency is key. Mm. Persistency is key. And it takes true vulnerability to be persistent, especially on a scale like being a professional footballer, you mm. know, where if you have a good year, everyone's going to be loving you. If you have a bad year, everyone's going to hate you, you mm. know, talk, talk about how bad you are. And you can either let, you know, that kind of stuff get in your mind and it can ruin your vulnerability and make you not work as hard anymore, make excuses for why you don't want to work as hard. But deep down, it's because of what people are thinking about you. And, you know, your vulnerability has been hurt a little bit. Mm. You can either let that become the best of you. You can understand, hey, man, it's a marathon. Yeah, I fell down today, but I could pick, you know, I could build strength tomorrow. You know, like, I, I think I think it's, it's a lot of things that go into vulnerability, you know, that, that we don't talk about enough. We don't introduce to the youth enough, especially just because, I mean, there, there are so many times where uh, you're in a situation where, um, for example, gender codes, right? Gender codes. I met this one kid in California. He was actually featured on the Step Into Vulnerability series where he wants to be a dancer. But, you know, big dancing for men is seen as a feminine thing, you know, and he was receiving that kind of information from his father at the time where he was telling him, no, you shouldn't do that. You know, like that's what girls do. You need to be a man. And you can see when that is constantly fed to a child, it can distort truths, you know, mm -hmm. and it can distort a child's vulnerability. So next time he's meeting something in life that may not be dancing, he's already going to be kind of like second guessing and reluctant because he's like, well, what does this mean? You know, in the, the eye of the social construct, what does this mean? How do I fit in? You know, and that, and that once you get everyone just fitting in, no one's standing out. There's nobody, you know, nobody great, you know. And I think a lot of greatness is, you know, we put a lid on a lot of greatness just because we attack people's vulnerability at a very young age.